Hi, my name is Kleber Mendonça Filho, and I'm in the Criterion Closet. Uh, it feels it feels good and, and strange in a, in, a, in a way because uh, I have bought so many of these discs over so many years. You know, every time I come to New York City, I, I tend to think of films uh, that, in a way, introduce me to New York City, even before I came for the first time to this place. And one of them is uh, one of my favorite films by uh, Mr. Martin Scorsese, After Hours. This film taught me a lot about editing and camera setups. Spirit of the Beehive is is something is something special. The, the interesting thing about this film for me is that I have never owned a copy of it. It has only existed in my head, very much like it used to be in the past. Before home video, you could not keep a film. You could only keep a film in your head, the memory of it. Difficult choice is when you come to a situation like this here at the closet at the Criterion because some of the films you own in different ways. So I'm really taking films I, I have never owned before and others I'm replacing the, you know, as a better uh, version. And I'm taking a couple to show to people I love. Just last year, we did a retrospect, a full retrospective of Marlon Riggs uh, at the uh, Instituto Moreira Salles uh, in Brazil, where I am a programmer. And uh, it was kind of sad when we sent back uh, the files. And I'm happy that I now can invite some friends over and, and show them uh, some of his films and videos. I'll just make sure I get Barry Lyndon because uh, my two kids, they are getting to the age I think I can show them Barry Lyndon and they will, I'm sure, feel something because this is such an amazing film. And I love the way it takes its time and the way the music comes in and the way you're completely floored by the images in the film. I know maybe so many people have reacted to this film the way I have, but that's pro that probably explains why it's a classic. Lost in America is a film that takes me back to 1985 uh, when I saw it on, on VHS, which somehow disappeared. I, I'm not sure exactly how and why, but it happens to, uh, to some films, to some very good films, actually. Because for every Barry Lyndon, which is, has never gone out of fashion or style, uh, maybe uh, except for the time it was released, but Lost in America uh, is a film that made many friends, but somehow it disappeared. And I've always liked this film, and I haven't seen it in more than 30 years. So I really want to see it. This is a special box with Martin Scorsese's uh, World Cinema Project. And one of the films is Hector Babenco's uh, Pichotti, which happens to be one of the great Brazilian films it's an incredibly emotional film about the world, I think, and life in society. Pichotti also makes me think of Nick Cave. Nick Cave is a, is a big fan of, of Babenko's film. Yeah, Brighter Summer Day is... Uh, I don't know. It's such a, it's such a special film that I'm, I'm not even sure what to say about this film because I might get emotional. Uh, and this now will be part of my collection. Agnès Varda is someone who, without really planning it, but during the editing stage of Pictures of Ghosts, uh, Agnès Varda came to talk to me many times as an imaginary friend. And this happens many times when you're making a film. Sometimes you're in trouble and you just think of someone and you begin to remember his or her films and Varda in a way she helped me get through the film and uh, I love her. The last one is this. It's probably uh, many people's uh, favorite uh, pick also. Don't Look Now 
and it's 50 years old now, which is hard to believe. It is, this is 50 years old, and it looks more modern than the latest uh, film out in the multiplex these days. I don't want to sound like a nostalgic, but I'm beginning to sound like a nostalgic. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.